Hello and good morning everyone. Our world has been rocked by a kind of pandemic called novel coronavirus or better known as COVID-19. I'm Muhammad Sharifuddin and you are watching Health TV. Today we'll be talking about the fact and benefit of the COVID-19 vaccine and opinion about anti-vaxxers. To better understand this event today, I have invited some guests to explain to you a little bit about COVID-19 vaccine. So, our guest for tonight is a medical student from University Malaya, Mr. Musab and Miss Shahila. And for a perspective from an expert, we also have Dr. Amir Amza from Hospital Kuala Lumpur on our show. How are you guys? Uh, okay, I'm fine. Okay, fine. Thank you, thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So, the current 2019 Corona disease COVID-19 pandemic caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus is a major threat sorry is a major threat worldwide and especially for countries in Southeast Asia a systematic study of 53,000 hospitalized patients showed that 20.2% of COVID-19 cases had severe disease with a mortality rate of 3.1% in the elderly and among those with comorbidities such as cardiovascular disease, chronic kidney disease and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Mortality increased significantly. Although several drugs have been used to treat several COVID-19 patients there are no specific therapies approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Therefore, the development and use of vaccine is one of the most promising strategies in, the, in this crisis. For today's interview, we are going to start with Ms. Chahila. So, can you explain to us that what is the COVID-19 vaccine is? Okay, thank you Mr. Sharifuddin for inviting me on the show. As told by Mr. Sharifuddin, I will explain uh, about vaccine in general so is easily can be understood by the audience. Okay. Vaccine is a simple, safe and effective way to protect people against dangerous disease. Uh, it uses your body natural defense to build resistant to specific infection and make your immune system stronger. Now, I will tell you a little bit about COVID-19 vaccine. COVID-19 vaccine are safe. In fact, COVID-19 vaccine are not experimental. They went through all required stage of clinical trials. Extensive testing and monitoring have shown that does vaccine are safe and effective. COVID-19 vaccine have received and continue to undergo most intensive safety monitoring in US history. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you Ms. Shahila for the comment. The fairly complete and concise comment given by Ms. Shahila regarding COVID-19 vaccine. Thank you Ms. Thank you again Ms. Shahila. Thank you Ms. Shahila. Okay. okay. So now, let's go to the, our next guest for a response, Mr. Musa. So, Mr. Musa, what is your view on the anti-vax group where they refuse outright from taking the vaccine that have been provided by government? Okay, thank you, Mr. Sharif, for asking. Uh, we must know that the anti vax movement is not something new because since 1800, People have rejected the vaccination for chickenpox, among of the many reasons. Uh, some of the reason is a hygiene issue, and some of the establishment think it a violation of a religious law. By the 1970, vaccine for diphtheria, tetanus, and Pertussis were also rejected by some communities because they were rumored cause neurological disease. Okay, back to our topic today. I just want to talk about anti-vaxxer. 
where it's specific about the COVID-19 vaccine. A small proportion of the people who reject the vaccine consider COVID-19 vaccine are prone to a conspiracy theory because they're denying a, a pandemic or linking it with politics. Uh, they are not likely to vaccine themselves or their children. Their opinion are difficult to change, but sometimes they may accept some vaccine. Vaccine resistant people, on the other hand, may reject vaccination, but some simultaneously research and willing to consider information about COVID-19 vaccine, they have anxiety about vaccination and think it is a conspiracy theory. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Musa, for a, such a solid explanation of what is anti-vaxxer are. So, Dr. Ameh, what do you think of both of the comments? Ah, okay, alright. Thank you, Sharif, for uh, for asking me. Okay, so where I should start, yeah? Uh, I think uh, the point uh, both from, from them is very good. Seriously, very good. Okay, according to my observation from both of them, uh, let me put let me put it this way. I just make a simple conclusion. So in our medical history, there there is no vaccine is guaranteed to be hundred percent effective, and a vaccine maybe does not fully protect us from being infected, but this vaccine may be protect may protect uh, us against a transmission to others. Furthermore, until now, the SARS-CoV virus continues to be observed for this cause although the vaccine are available for the virus as a result the duration of the protection provided by the new COVID-19 vaccine is unknown too so for the effective public health measures as a social isolation we have to limit it, limit limiting the size of gathering wearing masks and we need to implement all of all of this for at least three months to slow down the transmission of this virus in order to reduce the rate of infection that rising drastically. Yes, I always knew that many people are hesitant to take a COVID-19 vaccine. The reason is the vaccine are novelty and rapidly development, as well as the pandemic's politicization and inconsistent message from doctor and government leaders. The doctors and nurses must keep up to date on the new information in order to assist the patient in a making decision about the talking, the vaccine which is needed to help the end the pandemic. And finally, we have to uh, believe in God's in his, uh, in God's help for the sake of our good health. So for me, uh, I'm not. Uh, Agree. I'm. I'm not agree with the anti uh for the for their opinion. That's all for my side. Thank you. Wow, that is a very comprehensive point, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, in conclusion, the acceptance of COVID nineteen vaccine in Malaysia is influenced by the effectiveness of the vaccine. Acceptance is relatively high when the vaccine has a very high efficacy But the decrease becomes only 67% when the vaccine efficacy is 50% If the COVID-19 vaccine has lower efficacy, government should introduce more strategies to convince their population to be vaccinated In addition, because the acceptance is associated with perceived risk for COVID-19, it is also important to increase perceived risk in society. So finally, let us Malaysian go down and take the COVID-19 vaccine so that we can curb this pandemic, so that we can fully recover in our country. Okay, I think we have reached at the end of our show until we meet again in next episode. Have a nice day and thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Charit. Thank you. Okay.